Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're going to be taking another look at the select case statement. So this time instead of using an integer, we're going to use a string. So we're going to start off by creating a string. So dim my string as string. Set that equal to nothing. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get my string from the user. So we're just going to ask them to enter a string. And then my string is going to be equal to console.readLine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start our select case statement. So select case my string. And we're going to do a case hello. And we'll just do console dot right line goodbye and we'll do two more cases we'll do case goodbye and then console dot right line hello and now we're gonna do case um, let's just do fishing and then we'll do console dot right line boat okay so now if we run this it's going to close out right before it's done so we gotta add console dot read line now in some of my very first tutorials I said that this will let you read the line or the the program before it closes out and that is true but what it actually really does is that it waits for you to press enter so whatever you type in there in the line that it's reading it's going to um, move on to the next statement once you press enter so if you press nothing and press enter then it's going to go ahead and in our case exit the program because there's nothing after this so let's go ahead and run this and if we type fishing it's going to say boat but we have one problem problem with this. If we type fishing with a capital F, it's not going to give us anything. So what we need to do is make this case insensitive. So to do this, we're just going to type my string dot to lower. And we need to make sure that all of our strings inside of our cases are lowercase and you can see that they are we have hello goodbye and fishing and they're all lowercase so now if we run this we can type fishing in any way we want and it's going to give us boat back now one other thing we need to cover is what happens if they type in something that's not in our select case statement such as dog it's not going to return anything so to deal with this we're going to use what's called case else and this is very similar to the else in the if else statement it's going to cover anything that you don't have in your cases so if my string dot to lower is equal to anything other than hello goodbye or fishing then it's going to go ahead and we'll have it write console dot right line I don't know what you're talking about So now if we run this, we can type in anything in here, and it'll say, I don't know what you're talking about. So this is a very, fairly simple tutorial, but um, the stuff I taught you in this is very useful. And um, go ahead and practice some select case statements. Once you have that nailed down, go, have it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.